I am talking of these uh, successful uh, experiences uh, through my working with the large team of uh, salespeople in an insurance company uh, and thereafter heading the first insurance agency working under a company, the first insurance agency in Sri Lanka and then being a sales trainer for the country for a long period and also uh, having the experience of writing about eight books on salesmanship. In all these activities, what I have done is not uh, achieving the objectives of the company, but I plan for the individual to achieve his objective. So the company goal, company objectives are automatically fulfilled. That was my theory. And all what I'm talking to you of uh, performing the job of the day, within the day, is my practical experience. That is how I have accomplished writing 80 books at the time I reach 80th year in my life. And about accounting, I must say, countries get, get bankrupt if there is no proper accounting. Same thing applies to individuals. There cannot be success if the accounting of money they earn and spend is not documented correctly. I do it daily. I can say up to this morning how much I have spent for this month. This accounting system has been a part of my life. So you're the best accountant to account for your funds. If you don't take care of your funds in your planning, your success is a doubt because you know you don't know your funds, like countries going bankrupt without management. You have to be within your means to live. And borrowings can be done. It is a part of present day life, but they must be repayable and you must have the means for it. So these are activities that has to be taken into very uh, grave concern when planning for New Year. Friends, uh, just a few days uh, before we reach the new year, 2024, I thought of uh, helping especially the younger generation uh, with a view on the value of planning for the year to come, for the day to come, for the future, and how it should be done. And uh, I am not talking this to you uh, from book knowledge. This is what I have practically done in my life for the last maybe five decades. And it has been very fruitful, successful. So it's with love and affection that I share it with you. Uh, in my view, the most uh, precious thing that we have got in life is the time. Uh, somebody's success of living is judged by the number of years he lived. How many years you live is the time that you live. So, you do everything within this time that you have got to live on this earth. So, it, the time is something that you cannot create. You can create wealth, you can create various other things, but time cannot. We are under the law of time. That is given by nature, the sunrise to the sunset. 
We have no control over it. All what you can do is to see that we make the maximum use of the time that we have got. That I think is the wise thing of someone who wants to succeed in life. So we have slotted this day into 24 hours and and each hour is slotted into minutes and seconds. That is to realize how much the time is precious. So it can be measured by seconds. So every second is important because the seconds make the day. So if you ignore the value of time, your gates to success is closed. That is the fundamental thing that all of us must understand when we think of time. To understand the value of time, if somebody realizes the value of time, that itself is sufficient enough for him to drive. But if in your lifetime, if you have no respect for time, all other matters, you fail definitely. That is a very uh, precious and a wise way of looking at time. Then I realized this when I joined the private sector and uh, when they were planning their business goals, when they, were, when they made us to plan our business goals, they have a vision and a mission. But I learned from there is that the individual planning must have a mission, vision, and his goals and objectives to reach through the business and make the life successful. Realize that for you, the most important person is you. So in your plan for 2024 and beyond, think about what steps you to take to look after yourself in that number one, the health and your activities that you want to do in life. So plan for yourself. You have from morning till evening, Time that you sleep for your activities and beyond that it is very important that you take a sound sleep to take a good start the next morning but time is taken by day by day and the time you get up and the time you go to sleep matters because you have to plan your activities within that living time Sleeping time is dead time where you relax to get up freshly next morning. Generally, it is said that to get up early morning is good so that you start early, drive slowly and reach safely. So what we can think is how you want to spend your life. So exercise for your body, exercise for your mind, relaxation of your mind, a discipline of how you eat, what you eat, where you eat, to examine the uh, adverse habits that you have, dangerous habits you have, your anger, your way of speaking, whether you are alcoholic, whether you smoke, whether you gamble, all those things have to be evaluated by you when you take the planning for next year. Looking after yourself, taking care of yourself is the most important thing because you are in a family unit and then your behavior affects the family. It affects your society. It affects your country at large. It affects the world population in, at large. So to be a disciplined person is definitely a 
thing that has to be taken into consideration in the affairs of planning for a new year, for a new life. Plan it down, write it down. And then when doing this, examine the past. You cannot plan without finding out what were the lapses in the previous years or the previous year. How your time had been wasted. So when you look at it like that, you will write it down and th take those factors into consideration in planning for the coming year. Then we are in units of families, whether your father, uh, mother or brother, sister, whatever. We are in, in, in a family. So especially according to your position in your family, you have to safeguard the family. The family happiness matters in you. Like your own happiness. If you have no time to be happy, if you have no activities to be happy, if you have no hobby, if you are not reading, if you are not viewing a film, all those things have to be taken into planning the year, the time for you. Like that, you must have activity time with the family. How you are going to be with your wife and the children. How happy they are going to be. How are you going to interact with them? What are the activities you are going to do for their future? What contribution are you going to make for the children's education? Uh, how you are going to help them in their uh, activities if they are married? That is a very important thing. These two things must be taken into consideration. Then remember the third factor you have to take into consideration in planning is that you are a part of the society. So in your community, there are activities to be done as an individual uh, for the success of the community. That is how we get linked to the world. What social obligations you have by the friends, by the relations, by the community that you live, by the temple, by the church, by the mosque, or whatever organization, by the society. There are activities happening in your community. You have to get involved in them. That is why different associations are made. Are you a member of it? Are you making any contribution for that? Are you volunteering in any aspect of it? These are things somebody must take into consideration when planning life and writing down those activities. Then another thing that has to be taken into consideration is about your finances. How you live? The house, the car, the, uh, the other uh, things that you use in life, how you sustain them, how you maintain them, how you improve them, and uh, about your expenditure, your way of sp spending. There is a saying in our, in my practicing Buddhist religion, the Buddha has said to set aside a major part of your earnings for tomorrow, for the days that you don't have to, that you have no strength to earn, no strength to work. That's a very important thing. I am very proud to say that when practicing, by practicing that, I have gained a lot. Just the, just that is why you need a religion. Uh, not only a religion, a doctrine to follow, a set of principles to adhere. How much you're going to save at the end of the month. That is a thing that uh, guarantees your future. If you live further, how you are going to be taken care of it. So these are things. It's very easy to uh, earn money. It's, it is very hard to save if you don't have a plan, even if you earn a million. I know friends who earn millions who don't save a cent, but work in debt. So success is not judged by uh, the volume of money that has been raised. But people must have a spiritual life. I'm, that is why I'm coming into the 
fourth section of planning. How you are going to advance yourself spiritually? How you are going to be kind to people, compassion to people, uh, work for the betterment of other people? Then that gets you peace of mind, satisfaction. For instance, if somebody can think of the poor children and set aside some money for their education, give some scholarships, uh, give a part of your income to them, then these are things that has to be taken into consideration in when making plans. Then finally, on, I come. your growth. If you are working for a company and then drawing up your plan, you have your guidelines to do it. And you just follow the company guidelines. If not, planning means doing your own work. Now, for instance, I, I was 79 last year. I didn't do anything to become 80. Time brought me there. And last year I made a, a three-page document with about uh, 70 lines about my plan. I have no obligation to do it. It's for my own purpose to find out where I would go this year. On these lines, I had no business plan at all. I had no plan of earning any money at all. But I had a major plan of spending my time the last year. And at the end of this year, looking at the plan, I feel so happy because I have begun my day 5 o'clock in the morning and ended it at 10 o'clock in the night. That was a regular arrangement. I know the number of meditation, I, hours of meditation that I have done. I know how much I have walked every morning and uh, how much work I have done uh, to look after myself. How many books I have read. I have written the names of them. The day I started, I, how I finished. How many articles I have written to the press. Those are things that Measurement is available on that. You can write a plan and then say how it went on uh, without measurement. No, my measurement was every day. Because I take day by day. If I can't get tomorrow, I take it. Plan for tomorrow, I write my plan for tomorrow like the plan for the year. From the 365 leaves, one leaf has to be written every day what to do. And every day I write the diary in the morning to know what happened yesterday, whether my time is accounted, either any waste of time, where I deviated from my plan, how can I catch up? These are things essential for success. Uh, I look and look at the past year and find out the times I got mentally uh, distracted, where I felt any time angry, I can count those places. And uh, I have written those things in the diary the next day. Immediately arrested the situation not to happen again. So these are very important things. So I can honestly say, there was no place for alcohol. There was no place for uh, smoking. There was no place for any uh, bad practices. So then, very we feel I feel very comfortable that I'm on the correct path. Uh, I don't I don't see waste of time. Uh, I see a large number of good deeds that I have done. So I thought the pleasure and the satisfaction that I have by giving respect to time, considering time as the superpower on earth and to make use of it, the message has to be transferred 
to the society. I always interact with the society with whatever I do. I convey, I uh, communicate with the society. That's my nature. Every person is different to the other one. But this is the way I am blessed with. I enjoy doing it. So I thought at a time people are talking about goals for the next year. They talk on the business goal only. No, the business goal is important. But the business of looking after you and working with the society, with the family and be happy. I felt that I have to share my success story with you, with others, the next generation people and enjoy the bliss of it at the dawn of the new year. I hope you will take these suggestions sincerely, or practically, and then work for a good plan for the coming year and for the coming days, coming years, with respect to the mighty power, the time. Thank you very much.